Ed, before I get a lot of questions about IELTS, so today I'm going to speak with Pedro, an English teacher working with students to deliver free virtual classes. These classes ensure that your English is up to scratch before you take your exam. Let's talk to Pedro to get the inside scoop. So what's your name and what do you do? I'm Pedro and I'm based here in Manchester and I'm the senior teacher here at NCG. So how long have you been teaching English? So I've been teaching English since 2005. I've been in Manchester since 2009. I've been teaching IELTS since pretty much that time as well. So what is IELTS? Should I do general or academic? So IELTS is an English language exam used around the world for people looking to either move abroad or to get into an academic institution. Whether you want to do academic IELTS or general IELTS depends on what are your needs. If you want to get into an English language university in America or in the UK, then you'll probably need to do the academic IELTS. But if you're looking to move abroad for work purposes, it might be that you'll only need to do the general IELTS exam. So why IELTS? The IELTS exam is probably the most widely used and most recognised English language exam across the world. It's used by universities all across the UK to gauge students' capability in their English skills and whether they would be suitable to enter their institutions. And what grade do you need in IELTS? So what score you need in IELTS really does depend on the institution that you're applying for and the course that you are also applying to get on. Different institutions might require a 7.5, other institutions maybe only need a 5.5. Um, also depending on the popularity of the course, the difficulty of the course, the reputation of the university, different scores will be needed. Whether you need an IELTS for a one-year course or for PhDs, again, it depends on the situation. If you've done a master's in your home country and it's not an English-speaking country, then the institution is probably going to ask for an IELTS to get onto a PhD course. For foundation courses, again, it depends on the score that you've got. It might be that you're going onto a foundation course, maybe you've done an IELTS and you've missed out on a score by a mark or so, so maybe doing the foundation course might be uh, the best option for you and perhaps at the end of the foundation course you'll get the required mark to go on to your course. Uh, the same happens for pre-sessionals as well. So how can IELTS help students? An IELTS course will have a teacher who will help you uh, with the different skills and the techniques that you'll need to improve your IELTS score. So if you know what your IELTS score is, you'll be able to look at the different skills and what the score was for each individual skill. And depending on which one is the lowest, you can fine tune and work on that one. There's plenty of online resources to help you do extra practice tests, to develop your academic vocabulary, to develop your reading skills. But I'd recommend joining an IELTS course. You need someone who can pinpoint you in the right direction, give you feedback on your writing, on your, on your speaking, and to help you on reading and listening as well.